Today we're just going to talk about basically a couple of our, our favorite dream offices. The theme of today's is dream offices and so I hope we've each taken a second to pick two of our favorite offices from uh, Open House. I myself chose a couple that are pretty different but um, basically yeah we're just going to jump in and talk about offices that we're super jealous of because uh, Christian is currently working in an unfinished basement. Uh, I'm working in a very old house office most of the time, and Tosh works in his li living room in his apartment. So uh, we're talking about office goals today. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if we picked any of the same ones of all the offices on Open House. There's some overlap here. We'll just have to wait and see. But Yeah, it'll be good. How are things in Austin, Tosh? Yeah, they're going pretty good. We got a concert going out front, so hopefully there's no noise coming in, but it should be a good time. <laughs> well, if there wasn't a concert, there'd be sirens or crazy people yelling. So. That's true. There's always something. <laughs> right on. Okay. Well, the first one, we're kind of noobs at this, so I'm going to share my screen, but um, the first one that I chose is from... <laughs> Allison Campbell Design. Yes. yes. Beauty. So um, Allison Campbell, she's a interior designer that's got a bunch of, you know, homes in the parade of homes up in um, Utah Valley, uh, Salt Lake, Utah Valley, Provo area. Um, and so this is the first one that I chose as kind of my dream office. And I realized while we were doing this, the reason why I chose it as my dream office is because I – I always get made fun of this, but I like to work in the dark. And so obviously the lights are in this room right now. But when I was walking around this office on open house, I thought I love having a dark room while I'm working. And so someday I want to have a dark office. That's that was like the main thing that drove me to chose this. I, I love the like super dark cabinets, super dark paint. Um, and anyways, I think, you know, in my, my dream scenario someday when I have an office in my house, um, I want to go with like this darker, more moody theme. I actually was at my in-laws the other day, um, in Utah and they kept like, I was working in their home office and they kept coming in the office and saying like, Hey, do you want the light on? It probably happened like a dozen times. I feel like Christian, you always make fun of me for wanting to have the lights off. Tosh, you're kind of the same way, aren't you? Yeah, no, you, you stole mine. I love working in the dark, so I like this office a ton. <laughs> I love, like, all dark. Did you choose this office, Tosh? No, didn't choose this one, but oh. close. I do think that there is a trend right now of more moody colors in offices. The one that I chose, too, has darker colors on the walls, and I think that's something you'll see in a lot of new homes right now is you'll have – the entire home that, you know, is usually a lighter white color. And then when you get into um, the office or uh, an accent bedroom, there's these darker, moodier colors on the walls to make it stand out from the rest of the home. And, and I think that this is a perfect example of that. Well, and and just going off of that, my uh, parents recently finished their home and my mom wanted the entire house completely like stark white. And I think that's also a massive trend right now is um, families are really wanting homes that are just like completely white, white kitchen, white everything, white walls. But then you can see the influence of the dad in the office when you walk around these homes because there's a lot of dark offices. So it's cool. Yeah, yeah. And for me, I think one of the reasons I like it is I feel like with um, – I don't know. It, it kind of brings a more sophisticated tone to like a modern house. So um, this home is called Luca Modern. But um, anyways, I feel like the home is really modern. And sometimes we I mean, I think it's a trend more now that there are a lot more dark colors associated with modern. But I think like when you think of an office or like an expensive office, you probably think a lot of like a lot of wood cabinets and like wood walls and um you know stuff like that but i think in a modern home that may not have as much wood in the office or like wood paneling all over the office um you can still kind of get that like moody like expensive feel um by having things be dark in there and so for me like this office with you know all of this natural light coming in the window i know that except for at night i probably would never ever 
turn these lights on, it would be just dark in there with the natural light coming in. Um, and honestly, I probably wouldn't even use these lights at night. I would have just like one desk lamp be working in the dark in this office. And so um, anyways, that's why I chose this one. But Tosh, why don't you uh, show us which one you chose first? Okay, so I chose an office from Silo Creek Farm um, from Robinson Home Builders and have not walked around this home. It is the most amazing thing ever um, just to give you a quick idea of what the rest of the house is like. You definitely want to walk around. It's beautiful. Um, oh, whoa. Those floor-to-ceiling grid windows are unreal. Right? Yeah, I love yes. I love floor-to-ceiling windows, which is one reason I chose this office because I'm kind of similar to you, Carson, where I like to work in the dark. But when I'm not in the dark, it's it's like either or, right? Like I either need to be in the dark or I need to have lots of light. And um, the floor to ceiling windows are super pretty. I think this is a trend as well right now that you're starting to see more and more in homes where there, where people want to implement more light and more windows in their homes. So that's one part of this office that I really liked. The other thing is just all of the wood. <laughs> I love the wood. Um, also floor to ceiling in this case. And it, um, it's just really pretty to look at. And then you get this dark fireplace to kind of contrast the, the already medium dark wood. And I think it's super pretty. Something I would maybe add myself to this space that isn't here already is just like a, a bookshelf, right? A shelf where I could um, have some storage. It does look like these uh, cabinets open here and they, they do have some storage, but I kind of like the look of having open shelves and having some some books there. That's kind of the vibe that, that I would like. So, yeah. I think that uh, fig, fig plant over in the corner, or the, I think they're called like fiddle leaf fig trees or... That is sweet that it's so tall over there in the corner. Tosh, go back down the hall and walk into the office. Yes. Right. Oh, man, that hallway is just something else. Jeez. So, I think I do remember this house where, like, there's, like, the main house, and then this, like, is, like, another wing of the house that's just connected by this, like, totally transparent hallway and just has like a wing of the house that has a couple different. Options. Yeah, most of it's most of the house is on the other side, but then you come down this wing, and I believe it's the office and the master, if I'm not mistaken. But again, here you see floor to ceiling windows throughout the entire home, which is the coolest vibe, and I love it. Um, let's see if this was the master. Yeah, it looks like the master is down that way. Um, but yep, there you go. Silo Creek Farm office is money christian did tosh or i choose one that you chose yet nope we're we're all that's kind of amazing clear. actually we're in the clear so far i don't there are actually tons of way way cool offices on open house so i guess there wasn't that um much of a likelihood but still we all have pretty similar tastes so yeah right now i want to say we have close to over 100 different offices in open house and so the chances, I guess, were pretty slim. But so this, the one that I chose is actually in one of the most recent Fixer Upper episodes from Chip and Joanna Gaines. And this one's a little bit interesting. So if you look at the screen, this home actually is what Chip called the barn dominium. So this used to be an old barn that they completely uh, renovated the inside. And you can see that it's a super open floor plan. So here is the kitchen and the dining room um, connected to the living room. I'm single and 27 and don't need a lot of space. I live by myself. And so this is a cool open floor plan that would be plenty of space for a single person like myself. But um, just kind of going into the office over here, uh, mm -hmm. one of the things that I really like about it, similar to Carson, is the dark green moody wall color. I think – having a room that is super distinct from the rest of your home is really uh, awesome, especially in an office. It definitely is a little masculine, I would say. I'm sure that a lot of 
females would think, you know, this isn't their type of a vibe, which is why I chose the second office, uh, which we'll get into later, that is definitely more of a, I would say, uh, a feminine type office. But one of the things that I love about this office too, for me, I love natural light. So I'm the opposite of Carson and Tosh. And sometimes we get together at either Carson or Tosh's house and we work together and I feel like sometimes they want to work in a dungeon and I was like, can we just turn on some lights in this place? So I really like the natural light coming through in these windows. Um, the one thing that I, that I don't love about this office is the desk. So I think for, you know, a high school student or, you know, somebody in elementary school, this is perfect for a young child. But for me, when I work, I usually have my big desktop and an external display. And so this desk just does not provide enough workspace uh, for me. And so I would put, you know, more of a, a bigger functional desk in this room. But behind the desk, these two chairs, I think just are super inviting to have people come in and sit down and hang out with you and, and chat with you all. You're in the middle of doing whatever you are. Um, one other thing that I'll mention really quick that I love is the ceiling detailing here. So I was my dad's, bring up. yeah, my dad's a custom home builder in, in Southern Utah. And one thing in my opinion that really elevates the look and feel of a home is ceiling detail. And when you go and throw wood in a ceiling like this, where there's no wood anywhere else on the ceilings, I think just makes it feel so much more rich. And so them going and putting this this wood accent ceiling in here is a total vibe in this office. I think that's sweet. The, I am um, yeah, I agree about the the desk situation. I would have like maybe one of those chairs and then like a big functional desk in there. But those chairs, I have one not like that exact same one, but kind of a similar style where it has like a pretty low seat, and they are like the best for working on your laptop when you're tired of sitting at a desk because like your legs are slightly higher than your butt, you know? So like you have a better, better tabletop for your, your laptop to sit on. And anyways, it's like way nice to have that low seat chair with a, with a desk in the office. I, uh, I'm a huge fan. Totally. I agree. I find myself regularly leaving from downstairs, sitting at my desk to coming up and just taking a break for a second and sitting on the couch to be a little more comfy if I'm sending out emails or doing something that doesn't require a lot of, of screen space. And so I think this is these chairs, the sitting area is perfect for that though. Yeah. Money. Okay. My turn, my turn for choice. Number two, this is way it, different than give it, give it to them way different than the one I chose first, but you guys are going to like it. I will be a little bit surprised if neither of you chose this one. <laughs> I was close. I was close to choosing this one. Really? Yeah. Okay. So this is obviously way, way different than the previous one I chose. And it's not so much. I think like, so Tosh, you actually went and met Deborah. Deborah is an interior designer in Miami. Um, and I think she's really, really talented. And I actually really like the design of her home. It's like super contemporary. And I like it a lot. I think this wall back here with this huge overarching like um light over the desk is like way cool i've like never really seen anything like that but the one thing that oops the one reason why i really chose this office was that it's part of the bedroom i'm obsessed with that this bedroom is <laughs> insane and i actually think first of all it's just massive but um, I think it would be really, really cool to have like your office and bedroom all in one. Um, I don't know. I find sometimes like usually what my day to day looks like is, you know, waking up and kind of rolling out of bed and just kind of going over to a desk or a chair and getting some things done before I go to the gym or go, um, you know, shower and get ready for the day. Uh, so I kind of have like a wake up, work, shower, get ready, um, and then get back to work. And so I think actually having an office in as part of the bedroom would be <clears throat> pretty, pretty rad. Um, so it's not so much, I mean, I love, like I said, love the aesthetic. I think Deborah is super talented. Um, I think I like the style of my first choice of office for better, but, um, just the fact that 
this is part of this bedroom and you just have like this suite right here is is unreal getting... you're missing the elephant in the room what look at the view out those windows are you kidding okay me? Well, look, that that's actually what <laughs> I was going to say. That's actually a detriment for me in an office because you want to know why? I have bad ADHD. And so if I, um, <laughs> if I had this view right here, and I'm sure during certain times of the day, they probably have a little bit of like boat traffic and stuff. I would just be like so distracted by, uh, by that view. But it is like pretty unreal to have that view. I mean, it's insane. Look at that. Well, there were for sure, yeah. when I visited this house, there were for sure big yachts just driving by with lots of people on them, lots of music. I'm going to argue, <laughs> I'm going to argue with you, Carson, on, um, on your point about an office off the, the bedroom being good for you. I don't think it's good for you because, um, I think you have a hard enough time already stepping away from your desk. And I feel like at one point you'd probably just start sleeping on your desk. So I don't think that that's a good idea. You probably shouldn't include those well, in your future house plans. I agree. The the thing that I'll say is I'm, I don't have ADHD as much, but I'm super OCD. And so if my bed were not made and everything was not perfectly clean and put away and organized, there is no way I could sit down at my desk and start working while looking at my bed being <laughs> on May. I just couldn't do it. So for me, that's just a hard, uh, that's funny. Well, yeah, it's something I don't know. <laughs> I, uh, I actually feel like I would have the opposite where I tend to make my bed and keep my bedroom a lot cleaner than my office. And so my struggle would be like, this part of the room would look really nice, but like, I would just have like papers and sticky notes and, and all sorts of stuff. So anyways, that's awesome. I feel like the, that would kind of be an issue too, I guess, you know, having a, a office that's like a lot, I feel like a lot of people's offices are like off of the entry of their house and stuff like that. Like that would be kind of a struggle where, you know, you want to keep it clean all the time. And I don't know, maybe it's a good thing, you know, forces, forces the habit. But anyways, this is my, my second choice. I think it's cool. I was integrated with the, uh, the bedroom. And the other thing I'll say too, is like, I mean, Talk about taking a break from sitting at the desk, like taking a break from sitting at the desk and coming and working out here uh, wouldn't be too bad either. So it's pretty nice. This is going to be a good one. You guys are going to like this one. Oh, geez. All right. So this is in the oh. office, but I wanted to prove my point that um, most homes <laughs> are like stark white, right? You walk in and it's like a super white home. And this entrance, by the way, is pretty unreal. Um, that thing is insane. Yeah. It's like, where's the red carpet? My word. I know it's pretty well, the red carpet's right, but, um, <laughs> being a little slow here, white to dark again, moody. I Carson, I'm totally on board with you and Christian. I think we all like moody a lot. Um, but this is just a dark space and coming from a really light space for me, going into a dark space is calming. And for some people it's totally different where, they're like, no, like way too dark. I can't even function. Uh, but for me, I just love to be in an office that is dark and calming. And when I'm calm, I'm able to work. And so this is like perfect, right? So you got the dark paint. You have this dark wallpaper. Uh, it looks like the cabinets are blue. Yeah. The cabinets, I think, are are like off no, blue, maybe super, a green. Super dark blue. Or like a blue, like a super or... blue, super dark, like bluish green. I think it's way pretty. Yeah, I like it a lot. Um, but I, I like how they they didn't match the cabinet top. I actually like that. There's mm. um, different wood here on the counter, and then obviously you have this big TV here, which people could waste time with, but you could also be inviting some friends over or investors or whoever over and you need to pitch them something or you want to talk about an idea i think it's really helpful to actually have a tv in here because you can connect it to your laptop you can give a quick presentation and the experience for whoever comes to your office is just that much better right um so the one one thing i love about this office is the like seating area with a coffee table it reminds me of like 
the Oval Office where like it's got like obviously the presidential the the resolute desk you know but then most of the Oval Office is actually like two couches and a couple of chairs facing each other around a table yeah. um, I think that would be actually way way cool to have kind of a seating area like that where you can like sit around with you know several people and and chat in in an office environment still um i like that a lot i agree yes i i like that a ton too um i think just being able to like seat more people than maybe just once most most of the time there's like one other chair over here sometimes there's two but when you have four chairs and then here in the back it looks like they have an additional two maybe um these two little stools so it's nice because let's say your family's in trouble and you give a quick family council, you invite your entire family in there and they all fit, right? <laughs> this one That's right. This one does have the shelving that you're talking about, Tosh. And I think it's cool because uh, in, in my dad's and my brother's office, they usually have some sort of personal or sentimental items, whether that's awards or whether that's stuff they've – gone on vacations that they've been on office pieces that can be conversation starters this one obviously looks very professional and i'm sure some designer put it together but i think having some type of of shelving concept where you can display different items that you've collected or that you've gotten that have sentimental value to you is a really cool concept i, I like it a lot i agree with you yeah, it to totally is good a choice. totally is a good conversation um, point when you walk in the office. Just like Aaron Christian, your brother has an office similar to this, very different, but similar in that he has these shelves where um, he has a lot of his awards and things. And when people walk in, he's able to talk about some of those things. So I think it's cool. We need to do a uh, a next episode on. What items are you putting on your office shelves? That would be a that's a good follow up to uh, this conversation. I'd love yeah. to hear what you guys would put on your office shelves. So yeah, totally. One quick question I had for you: Where would you put your office? Because there's a lot of, I mean, some offices are off the bedroom, some are off the entry. I would say the majority are probably off the entry, um, but some people do it off their bedroom or farther back in the home. Where would you guys prefer to have your office? I would prefer, um, I think, just like that one from Silo Creek Farm that you showed earlier, Tosh, the Robinson Home Builder one. I like that it's, like, private and, like, in the area of the house close to the bedroom, um, you know, but, like, it's not just right off the entry. I really like that. I feel like growing up, my dad, like, worked a lot in the office and but he like it was right off of our entry but like it wasn't always perfectly tidy and so my mom just basically like it's one of the most beautiful rooms in the house but like my mom always kept the door shut because you know it wasn't always perfectly tidy right off the the entry of the home so yeah i think it's like ambitious to put it <laughs> off the entry but mm -hmm. in all reality like um i think like functional wise i would rather have it like close to the bedroom in a more private area of the house. Yeah, I'm actually kind of the opposite. I think more off of the main living areas. I've seen a couple offices where they have glass panel barn doors where it's fully transparent into the office and you can see out. It doesn't feel like you're secluded in an isolated box. I think for me, I'm less concerned about where it's located, but just as long as there's doors that I can close to have privacy when I have to jump on calls or things like that. That's really what's most important. But I think there are some, I do like feeling that I'm part of the action in some of the main living areas instead mm. of feeling isolated off in a back corner in the house. Mm. Yeah, that makes sense. I'm actually um, with Carson as well. I think I would maybe not want to keep my space totally clean all the time and have it be a little bit more secluded. So I'd probably go like closer to the master, I think. Tosh, yeah. we're just like the same person, just in different bodies. I know, we, <laughs> we are very similar <laughs> in a lot of ways. We should just live together, Tosh, honestly. 
hey, I told you you could <laughs> come on down to Austin. <laughs> hey, Christian, give us the last one. There you go, so, Christian. I still this one it. is totally different. This one's totally <laughs> different than the ones that we've been talking about. Uh, I was thinking more along the lines of what type of office space I would like for my kids or my children. And when I was growing up, we had what we called the den, and there was a big table in there, multiple chairs um, that we would all go in there and do homework at night. And so this one, I really, really like the vibe of this one where you've got this Whoa. designated room uh, for a lot of people to come in and get things done. And so it's a lot of kids, Christian. I'm thinking, <laughs> hey, we got big plans in the world. <laughs> um, this is sweet. Some- I do not remember ever seeing this room. And I really like to. Uh, Obviously, the the rest of this house is pretty white, so this is the main living area. So the cabinet colors in the kitchen are white and in the living room. But what they did do as far as the accent colors go, kind of what we've been talking about, the more of a moody vibe is they painted the cabinets this light blue color. And then they've got this warm oak floating shelf concept that I think is just money in the bank. So... Uh, the reason why I chose this one is, like I said, just it's great working space for a lot of people and having a, a designated area like this for kids to come in and do their homework and be productive and get done what they need to, I think is just really awesome. I'm obsessed. Yeah, I think it's sweet, too. How each little kind of station has their own drawers and um, everyone can kind of just have their own mini little uh co-working space inside the house. I think that's actually way, way cool. I don't remember seeing this one before. Totally. We love the cows over here too. Big, big cow fan. Jeez, that is a big truck on. They just need, the only thing that would make this better is if there were four big IMAX sitting at each station, different colors for all, for all the kids. Jeez. Yeah, that would, uh, that would do the trick for sure. That's all I got. Okay, well, after seeing everyone's choices, would you choose a different choice that one of us suggested, or are you sticking with your two? For my personal dream office, I think out of all the ones we looked at, I would have to go with the first one that we looked at from the Luca Modern. I think Allison Campbell's office is, for me personally, what I would consider to be my ideal office the floor to ceiling windows with the blackout curtain the cool light fixture above and the dark colors i think is just perfect um Mm. so i think you might have won me over on that jeez i would choose i would keep that one and then i would choose that one that you suggested tosh your first one you suggested silo creek i love the location of that um i thought that one was sweet are you sticking to your choices, Tosh? Yeah, I'm going to be a little bit selfish and blend mine because I really did like my choices. So I'd probably take, um, yeah, Silo Creek and Maison de Reve and just mix both of those because they both have elements that I would want. So I'm going to stick mm-hmm. to it. I dig it. Well, we already have our follow-up conversation for next time, which is what are the items that you're putting on your office shelves that could be a that's a good question for the comments anybody watching this if you hear this right here answer this question in the comments what items are going on your office shelves whether they're sentimental or a favorite book or your most prestigious award whatever uh whatever's going on your office shelves let us know in the comments anyways me, any uh, any final me, thoughts it's the marathon medals you got to show those babies <laughs> off <laughs> That's the only reason you ran them is so you can put yeah. them on your office shelves. One hundred percent. That was a lot of pain and suffering for those stupid metals. <laughs> was it worth it? Was it worth it? Yeah, a hundred percent worth it. If you haven't run a marathon, highly recommend. One of the uh, <laughs> most satisfying feelings is when you cross the finish line. So definitely worth it. But there is some some pain and suffering that is definitely tied to those. <laughs> <laughs> we'll take your word for it, Christian. 
All right. Thanks, everybody, for coming. Peace. See ya. Talk soon.